Hi guys, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. I'm here with my good friend Allison LeBaron of LeBaron Laboratory. Allison is an independent uh, gemstone and jewelry appraiser, which is very different than what I do. So those of you who bought diamond pieces from me know that I write appraisals so you can have them for your insurance for my diamond pieces. But sometimes pieces are complex, are sufficiently unique, different, or challenging that I don't feel comfortable appraising them myself particularly when they involve uh, stones other than diamond, where I'm not as much of an expert as I am with diamonds. So part of being a good business person, especially in the jewelry business, is knowing what you don't know. And the essence of strategy is knowing what not to do. So in some cases, I think it's better to get an independent appraiser to appraise unique and complex pieces. And in those cases, I come to Allison because I think she's the best in the business. So Allison, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about what you do and how you do it. I appraise jewelry of all kinds, and I appraise jewelry for market levels of all kinds. So insurance replacement is probably the usual appraisal that most people want, but I also do reports for estate purposes, donation, uh, identification, all sorts of items. So I have a lot of equipment here. I use a microscope quite a bit, a refractometer to identify gemstones. I have master diamonds to compare color for color grading of diamonds. I've got ultraviolet lights. I have all sorts of toys that work and I, they help me identify gemstones, identify treatments of gemstones, and ultimately that allows me to put a price tag to them. And then we put the report together and that way they can get the pieces insured or turn the reports into the attorneys to settle the estates. So what's your background? How did you get into this? I got into this because I went to Antwerp and fell in love with the, the diamond factories over there and the whole uh, diamond industry. I uh, specialized in math and physics in school and so I figured that would be a perfect thing to do. I could travel the world with it and I have created a nice little niche for myself uh, being an independent appraiser so that people come to me I have an unbiased opinion, I do all the research necessary to put the report together, and the clients are comfortable coming to me because I get all the information on the pieces while they wait, so they don't have to be without their jewelry, they get to watch the process, and then I mail them a report once I have finished my research. So there you have it guys, sometimes you need to, to call in a pinch hitter when something is just uh, not your wheelhouse, and that's what I did today with Allison. I thank you again for all your help, and just remember, you know, I've said it a million times, know your jeweler, and sometimes I know I'm not the guy. The good news is when I'm not the guy, I know the guy. So here we are. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.